Hi, I'm an equal, a creator on IronView, and today I'll be showing you how to upload a project to the IronView catalog using IronView Studio. Once it has been uploaded, it will become a product. This means that it will be added to the IronView catalog and given a product ID. Here I have my finished product and I'm ready to upload it to my store. I'd previously saved this project, so I found it easily by going to my Studio Home tab or the My Projects tab, hovering over my product and clicking Edit to reopen it in the Edit view. You can also click the small three dots located here on the bottom right of your project to do the same. Before we upload our product, you may want to take the time to make your product icon here. We now need to navigate to the Info tab found here in order to add all details related to this particular product we want to add to our store. We've got our icon made and are ready to go, so now we can simply click Add Image and select our icon file. I'll be naming my product Oversized Glasses. Our type is Clothing and it will follow the previously derived product's type. I'm rating it GA as it follows all general audience guidelines. As I'm uploading an accessory, I want to change my category here to Accessories. I won't be making a change in the number shown from compatibility as 80 is the number designated to the female avatar and my glasses are made as a female product. If you are deriving from a male product, you have the number 191 here. To make a product compatible for both the male and female catalogues, you will want to add both numbers 80 and 191 here. Now that we have all our details inputted, we can now work out how many credits we'd like to make per sale of our product. I want to make 200 credits per sale of my glasses, so simply we'll input this number as my profit. Derivation fee is the fee paid to the creators we are deriving from in the original chain. This number will be different depending on what you are deriving from and how many products are in the subsequent chain. Markup is what you will be charged for submitting your product. You can play around with your profit number to see how it directly affects the markup. One-time fees break down what you'll be paying and why, with your total fees being the number of credits you'll be paying to upload your product. We can pop in some keywords here to allow shoppers to find our product. For my glasses, I'll add words similar to black, large, glasses, shade, summer. Generally, you want to add descriptive words that directly relate to your product's appearance. I don't want this product to be derivable, so I'll leave that unticked, but I do want people to find my product, so ensure that's unsearchable. Display only is unticked as I want to allow people to be able to purchase this product and I'll also allow users to add this into bundles they sell with their own store. Now that we've finished our product and tweaked our info panel, we are ready to upload. Hit submit, submit again, and wait a few seconds for Studio to let us know our product has successfully been submitted. Once we receive that pop-up, click OK and a browser window will open directing you to IronView Classics product page. On the product page, we can then tweak anything we may want to change using the creator tool shown here, including editing our product or settings or adding your own custom HTML description. The product visibility tab is also particularly useful because we can show and hide our product straight from the IronView page. Everything here is fine for my product, so I'll now enter my product into peer review by clicking the message shown above my product. Peer review can take a while, even a couple of days, so don't panic if you're confused as to why your product may have not passed yet. You will receive a message from IronView when your product has passed. If you want to find this page again, you can grab it by your IronView inventory, your creator dashboard, or just using your browsing history. Here you can see my product has passed peer review. So we can now have a search for it on the IronView shop page. Go to the IronView shop, type in your IronView avatar name, search for your product, and now I can clearly see that my product is visible for people to purchase.